Greetings, sir and sirettes, and welcome back to Galactic Junk League with me, Lathrix. And, of course, welcome to my brand new ship, the first ship I have created of the Destroyer class. In today's episode, we're going to be testing out this ship and testing out the class-specific ability, Artillery Mode. So, as you can probably guess by the name of this ability, when it's toggled on, and you can do this whenever you like, very similar to the Defensive Mode, it will increase increase your maximum range of all of your weapons. At the moment, since it's level 0, it increases my maximum range by 30%. As you can see, when the artillery mode is offline, I can't hit that NPC in the distance. However, when it goes back online, I can now suddenly do all the damage in the world to it. And as you can see, we've got a pretty nasty fire rate using the regular cannons. Eventually, the destroyer does unlock a special version of the cannon, which I believe is longer range and possibly does more damage per shot, although don't quote me on that as I've never been able to use the uber cannon yet or actually look at its stats. So we're going to get into a couple of matches, we're going to see how the ship does, how the weapon placement is, and see if this is a specific vehicle type I will be happy with. I am still having a lot of fun with the frigate and that's about to hit level 10 as well, so maybe the destroyer will be the next one we focus on. Into the first battle we go, and sadly, straight away, we have had a disconnect from our team. A little bit of damage being done there to that enemy destroyer, however, he doesn't have artillery mode on, so we were able to do that without any recourse against us. There is a destroyer around there as well, though I think he's behind a bit of cover. Let's just position ourselves here, and a quick broadside volley, dealing quite a bit of damage, and let's see if we can knock off a couple of weapons from that battleship. Seems like we certainly could. Okay, turn around, so all of our weapons are able to fire. And let's go after the injured destroyer at the top. And down he goes, glorious. We're not in the best position here, some of our shots are hitting the terrain. And there is a destroyer coming way too close, and we've just been marked by one of the other destroyers. Direct hit on that frigate, doing quite a bit of damage to the back. And that is the destroyer which marked us, hiding behind cover there, using the cruise missiles. And I really should have paid more attention. We are now in a very bad position, being closed in by that battleship, which has the Gatling guns, in addition to the fact that destroyer is still hitting us. Knocked off a lot of weapons, though. We're still somewhat tanky in this vehicle. Since I am not really used to the destroyer yet, I decided to go for quite a tanky type of build. Now, hopefully he'll go to our left. Yes, he will. Thank you. Thank you to my allies who allowed me to survive this. And here comes a, a frigate, not exactly what I wanted to see. Come on, knock off all his guns. His core's fully exposed though, at least. Incoming shots, and we have lost all of our gyroscopes. Apparently they're a little bit too crowded in the center. So I may as well just continue this fight until I die, honestly. Since I, since I will have to self-destruct after this anyway. Does that destroyer have regular missiles, just rockets? I'm assuming he has both rockets and cruise missiles, that would make the most sense. Well, we got one kill and one assist for our one death, so not the worst start in the world. And down goes the enemy, thankfully they put themselves in quite some bad positions there. I think the destroyer will help me learn positioning quite quickly, since that's the main thing with this class. If you can get into a good position and have allies nearby, then you are going to do very well in a destroyer. If you can't do this, well, not so well. Okay, swapping over to artillery mode now, since we have that fellow down there. It's hard to see him, but let's see if we can take some shots. Yes, we can. Um, a couple of hits there, a couple of misses as well. Two more hits, and let's swap over to this fellow. Trying to hit his back there and take out some of his thrusters. We can cripple him down there. That'll make us very, very well positioned. Going a little bit further than I want to right now, but I do want to take some more shots. Okay, a large chunk at the back just fell off. We still have the cruise missile fellow over there. I am slowly moving back right now. Going to turn off artillery mode just for a moment to reposition. And back into it now.
I do actually have one battery on this thing, and apparently that's nowhere near enough. What I really need is a generator to increase my energy regen. Also, this really isn't the best position, okay? Going to turn off artillery mode just for a moment to reposition again, so I'm not happy with the two destroyers over there. Trying to hit a frigate with these things is a nightmare on a side note. So let's go for the destroyer instead. <laughs> let's go for the easier option and actually get a hit. Okay, turn off artillery mode since he's now in range of the regular cannons anyway. Turn around a little bit to get most of my guns able to fire and all he's got left now is two guns, okay. And I'm just going to go for the core instead, since he's almost completely cored out anyway. There it is. Hello, core. Goodbye, enemy battleship. Yeah, really, really, really need more energy. Lots of assists. We are getting lots of, lots of assists here. Getting used to how far we have to lead these shots is also something which I need to learn. I haven't been that bad. I think I'm hitting about 50% of my shots. It's not the worst aim in the world, but certainly not the best. And there we go. We are the winning group. And I got a higher score than any of the enemies, which is pretty nice. Only one death, six assists, and one kill. So, not the worst start, but let's go again. Into the battle we go. So sadly, a lot of the enemies do also have long-range weaponry, so we do need to be very careful in paying attention to where the enemy are going to position themselves. Now, one thing I could do if I were to be a bit risky is to position myself in this area over here, thus giving myself a great line of sight and being able to defend myself from pretty much every angle for any enemies trying to get close enough to me to use other types of weapon. And I think I very well may do that. That. I've seen some very good destroyer players get into really out in the open positions and absolutely wreck anyone coming towards them. Now sadly, that does require a good host of good aiming skills, which I personally simply do not have. But thankfully that is a very very slow rookie ship, so landing most of those hits there. And we get our first kill assist of the day, and he is coming towards me, whoa, one shot by my ally there couple of hits there against that battleship, and that destroyer is about to close in on our ally, so let's see if we can help out at all. Missing every shot there, not really the best. Our turn rate, of course, is also heavily compromised by the fact we are currently in artillery mode, but if I turn it off, I will no longer be in range of that target. Okay, turning off artillery mode just for now, since this enemy is now within my range normally. Landing again, no shots, clearly my aim definitely needs to be improved here. Normally I'm a little bit better than that at least. That was a pretty poor showing even by my standards. There we are, landing those hits. He's pretty much dead and my, and my ally will be able to clear him out. That battleship's coming towards me, but his core is fully exposed. Let's try to capitalize on that. And down he goes, a second kill assist. Uh, rookie ship there trying to be quick using his boosters and just missing that shot. Landing the second and taking out one of his thrusters. What's that battleship doing? Not too sure. Oh, it turned on defensive mode just after I fired my shots, so all of them did reduce damage. His weapons are fully side mounted, his thrusters are all completely on the back, okay. Let's see if we can hit this side, since that's where our allies are hitting as well, so if, if we can break through that piece of armor, we could really help out the team. Need to be careful with that rookie ship there. He's about to get within range of me and is going to have to fight me somewhat soon. Oh, or maybe there was absolutely nothing to worry about because of my ally. Going for this guy's thrusters a bit since my ally is trying to move out of his way. That is a really heavily armoured battleship. That's just complete mega armour absolutely everywhere. Okay, most of his thrusters are now gone, except for the one on the side there, so let's see if we can take that out as well. Did we? Yes, we did. Okay, he's now crippled and no longer a threat to me, at least. Those two are very concerning, though. They're out in the open and not being fought at all right now, so about to come in range, and let's volley over there. Uh, 
Okay, he's now trying to escape. I'm actually going to climb a little bit here. A few more shots against him. Enemy destroyer using heavy laser and really bad get. What is, what is with that particular destroyer and me just not being able to aim at him? Look at how tanky that guy is. Why do my guys keep on going so close to him? He can't move. Just leave him there. He has no long range weaponry. Where did that rookie ship go? Is that his core? Can't tell if that's the core or a module right there. It's green. Whatever it is, it's green. You see, kids, that's what happens when you have a very high-level battleship and have all the CPU to just absolutely load out on Mega Armor. You can become an unstoppable lump of metal. Okay, turning off artillery mode since he's about to go in range of me. This may end up very, very badly here. We just don't have the damage. We don't have the DPS to really deal with battleships right now. What we need is batteries and generators. So that we can have an increased fire rate. A, a increased sustained fire rate. At the moment, it's too easy for me to become like this. Okay, artillery mode right now. So we can get a couple of shots. We are being attacked from the side, though, by an enemy frigate. Oh, that was a huge chunk of damage. And we've taken him out. His core must be right at the front. Okay, once again, artillery mode. Now he's being distracted by someone else. And we get a kill assist. 420 and we're third place. Our team's got really good scores, if that's the case. I saw a health bar flash up for half a second there. I'm assuming that was him respawning and the game was glitching out a little bit. Oh, we're so close right now. We need these kills. Okay, we did actually hit that target, but after he exploded. Not going after the battleships because that'll take way too long for only 37 seconds left but trying to hit a frigate is so difficult even if they're only a decent frigate player it's very very easy to evade cannon shots even i can normally do it well there we are seven assists one kill zero deaths um we did okay gg we did okay, I feel. Need to practice leading the target with such slow weapons, and we desperately need to unlock the generator. There we are, the energy generator. Researching a block will allow you to place it on the ship, and of course, the energy generator gives us 20 power per second. I do already have a battery on the destroyer, but I feel like more sustained would be a lot better. So what we're going to do is actually grab the energy generator and possibly upgrade it so we only need one of them. Yeah, so I'm going to do a bit of a waste of our credits, but for now that will do. So now we have an improved generator. Let's go to the bottom of the ship, remove the battery, and replace it with the generator itself. Although the generator is a little bit more expensive, so I'll probably have to remove a little bit of armor as well. Another battle on the same type of map, so one thing I have done now is I have removed the top gun, because honestly, a lot of the time, I seem to be generally gravitating towards going above the enemy and raining down hellfire. That gun has very few times where it's actually being used, and eventually, it will most likely be replaced with Gatling guns to provide a bit of support against the very close-range opponents. And excuse me there for half yawning during that sentence. It's very, very light right now, and I'm very, very tired, as usual, sadly, as this is the game I play after the recording sessions. So, there we are, several hits straight away. Hopefully my new engine... engine generator? My new energy generator will provide us with a far more stable bit of damage. Really need to be careful of that frigate, but we've almost destroyed this cruiser already, and down he goes. A fantastic start to this fight. Okay, enemy destroyer there using cruise missiles, so we do somewhat out outrange him, although he does have... Ooh, artillery mode. This is what I wanted. Okay, being attacked from the side there. We are moving backwards, but far too slowly, turning off artillery mode, and apparently it wasn't really needed anyway. And down he goes. Thank you to our cruiser, I believe, that slow effect was from. I'm not actually too sure. Still learning which ship does what. Okay, turn off artillery mode just for a second to reposition and back online. Where are you going? Okay, nice and high. Landed one shot on the rookie there. Uh, how many guns have we lost? Not too many, okay. 
Where are you going? Down or up? We need to know before we start firing. Those jukes, though, from the rookie ship. Landing a hit on the frigate. Uh, battleship there, directly in front of us, turning off artillery mode. We're slightly slower than him moving backwards, but I do want to be able to fire, but oh well. That was our fault for not paying attention. If we, if we saw him coming, because he was coming very slowly, we could have easily changed our position and actually fought him off. But he got really close, and we just allowed him to laser us to death. Let's get back up there as soon as possible. And down goes the battleship anyway. Two kills, one death, one assist. Not bad though, not bad at all. Eventually, I would like to look back at these videos and feel that I've really, really improved, and... Ooh. Hopefully, I'll get better scores. Also, thank you very much to the cruiser giving us the bonus energy. That is very, very nice indeed. Okay, artillery mode as soon as possible, because that guy... I wonder what range he has there. I wonder if he's gone upgraded to artillery mode or not. Either way, though, a huge burst of damage from us. We do have good burst damage in this ship. The initial volley is deadly. Okay, artillery mode off. I'm going to just go a little bit higher there, because what they can do is pop out of there and easily attack me. I wish you could change where your camera was, though, sometimes, as in where you're looking from, because when you're trying to look down and your ship is literally in the way of where you're trying to aim, that can be incredibly annoying. Probably going to pop out about here. I always aim too close to frigates, that's my problem, always too close. Keep forgetting just how fast they can move. Okay, artillery mode is offline because he's getting way too close. Wonderful. Can we help out with this guy, or is he going to get away? We can indeed help out. Fantastic. How did that not kill him? We've destroyed him three times. I do apologize, sir. Battleships can just absorb so much damage. Of course, that's their whole point, but even so, it can be incredibly annoying. Because you can't help but shoot them either. They're so slow and lumbering that even I can normally score quite a few direct hits, as you can see. And it's so lovely just to see this type of weapon hit a target. Destroyer incoming. Very, very close to us already. Turn off artillery mode. No point in it being on right now. Try to get above him if possible. I'm not sure about his weapon pos eh, positioning, but I know for a fact all my guns could fire then. Darn it! Far too vulnerable from behind. I should have tried to turn. Is he the guy who killed me last time as well? I think it is. Yeah, same battleship. I love those lasers so much. I do miss them already. I could use them on a destroyer. Increasing the range of them to over 3,000 wouldn't be bad. Firing upwards is actually our worst position now that we've moved the top gun. Oh, we did a lot of damage there though and certainly helped out with the kill. And we are currently on top. Not bad. Not bad at all. Improvement in one video. Lovely. Can we get in range to help out before the fight ends? Please don't try to hide. Artillery on and let's do some damage. There we are. Lots of damage coming from our cannons. Why must you keep moving? Just let me get the kill. Well, I'm going to assume that was me then, even though I'm fairly certain it wasn't. So that was a lovely, lovely improvement to our battles earlier. And yes, having the energy generator is pretty darn good. I only overloaded a couple of times, but really, this battle did show a few things. I need to be more maneuverable, even on a destroyer. I need to be more, more situationally aware. And having Gatling guns would be very, very cool. And we have leveled up. Did we unlock the Uber Cannon? 
No, we didn't, although we do now have the artillery shield. Now, this is something I really, really want. Create a protective shield around the destroyer, which absorbs part of received damage, active only when the ship is immobile, and it is indeed a passive, which means as long as you're staying still, this is simply online. And how the power works there, as you can see in the stats, it says power minus 40%. What that actually means is that you're simply taking minus 40% damage. There's a very similar wording on the defense mode over on the battleship, which means me just sitting there floating above the battlefield would have minus 40% damage taken. That is such a big deal. But sadly right now we don't have the AP for it, so we do need to level up a bit more before we can even think about using it. So now that we've leveled up, we have a little bit more CPU to play with, and what I think I'm going to do is remove one of the two gyroscopes I've just added and add a additional thruster so that we have a little bit more speed when we are trying to be manoeuvrable. Either way then, I'm going to call the episode here. I had quite a bit of fun and a lot of fun in the last battle. Over time, I think I'm going to get better at positioning and using these guns. These guns normally don't really fit my type of playing style, but I think the destroyer will be the ship we go for once we finish off with the frigate. So, off camera, I'm going to level up a bit more on the frigate until I've reached level 10 and then I will show off the finished version in a video and then we will move over to the the destroyer full time until once again we have level 10 and then we go over to the cruiser which will be our last ship so we have all of them at level 10 and we can decide which type of ship will be our favorite and which we'll actually move on to I will also be testing out cruise missiles soon, so thank you very much for watching. If you have enjoyed, then of course, likes, favourites, shares, comments, all that good stuff helps out me, helps out the channel, and most importantly, shows that Galactic Junk League is a series you would like to see continued in the future. Thank you for watching, and goodbye.